Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we'll be testing a new litter by Arm & Hammer. So they just came out with this new litter called Hardball Platinum Formula. I'm actually very excited to try this. I feel like Arm & Hammer makes really great products. They make our feline pine, which I love. Love, 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 love. I got this 16.5 pound bag off of Chewy for $30 same price on Amazon. I'll put the links in the description box if you're interested. So they didn't have like a scent free formula. That's usually the litter I would gear towards. That's because I feel like sometimes with scented litter, it gets a little weird when it gets mixed with urine. Or it's just so overwhelming and Sven has allergies. I rather not deep dive into that. Let's get into the features of this litter. So this litter is advertised as fast acting and easy to clean with virtually indestructible clumps. The litter binds waste and odors into tight, hard clumps. It's lightweight and it weighs 60% less than traditional Arm & Hammer cat litter. It is made from American grown grain. It seems to be a mix of ingredients. So on Chewy, it says it's made of sorghum sorghum so it has paraffin oils parenthesis petroleum so agglomerated wood mineral and starch benz isothiazolinol methyl isothiazolone and fragrance i find it refreshing that they don't advertise anything about tracking or dust because i feel like every litter out there does advertise that and their go-to is it's dust free it's low tracking i mean Dust free is not really dust free, as you've seen the many litters I've tested. And low tracking, I mean, low tracking for who? So this is supposed to be super absorbent litter. They say that 40 pounds of their regular litter, I assume when they say regular, they're talking about their clay litter. 40 pounds of their regular litter equals to 16.5 pounds of this hardball litter. Whew, I can get the scent coming off of it. It's quite strong. So the scent, is garden bloom so we're gonna test this for a month i hope um, if i don't like it i'm gonna end it at two weeks if i like it i'm gonna finish the bag let's get into it okay we are back and it's been exactly one month since we started using the hardball litter just a little background i do have seven cats in my home using this litter while we were testing it i have my three resident cats ben robbie and louise and then i have four of my fosters still living with me at home. Also, as a reminder, I have two pine pellet litter boxes open for business, as well as one in the foster kitten's room. At this point, the kittens do not like being confined into the bedroom at night. So I would say that seven of my cats are using the hardball litter 80% of the time. So let's just dive right into our categories. So first one being dust. Surprisingly, this litter is like 0% dust extremely extremely low dust i did like a swipe test and literally nothing just like a few large crummies i would say nothing like really super dusty i think if you get towards near the end of the bag yeah the litter gets a little bit more fine but nothing too wild i feel like so second category is tracking so of course i tested it with and without a litter mat without a litter mat Tracking is just horrendous. I would have to vacuum every day. By the second day without vacuuming, it's literally all the way at the top of my stairs. It's in the living room. With the litter mat, yes, it did get a little bit better. However, after the second day, you can find it on the stairs, like halfway to the second floor. So the litter mat did prevent some tracking, but I would say instead of vacuuming, every day you would have to vacuum at least every other day so it's like not that big of a difference and i think this litter just tracks further you know with or without a litter mat because the litter is very sticky not sticky in the sense that it's like actually physically sticky but the fact that like it grips really well into their fur um on their paws so that's why it like tracks further out like the litter mat does some work so our third category is clumping slash absorption and oh my god, it lives up to the name Hardball. The clumps are so freaking firm. It's like, a, how would I even describe it? Like a really compact 
pound cake you know but it doesn't really crumble like a pound cake but it's like just so dense and like it's almost like spongy and like I don't even know how to explain it not only does this litter clump really 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 like well and like hard but it also sticks to the litter box really really well not in a bad way i know when clumps stick to the litter box it causes like just excess disgustingness because you have to work at scraping it and then it kind of crumbles this is not the case so this sticks really well on the litter box right so you do have to work at, at pushing it but it pops off all in one piece and it leaves the litter box really nice and dry so next category is odor control i think this litter does really well at both urine and solid odor control um, when i'm scooping i really don't smell anything of course when like they first drop their solids it's gonna smell a little bit but it really dissipates pretty fast and I want to say that it is the litter itself working really well um, but I can't say 100% sure because this is super super scented they don't have an unscented version yet at least when I bought it I didn't see it it's like a love-hate relationship with me some days I come home and I'm like wow the house yes the house it fills up the entire house it smells like someone just did laundry other days I'm like I kind of have a headache. It's too strong. So I'll leave it at that. If they do come out with the unscented version, I hope it works just as well. Moving to our last and final category, which is value. The 16.5 pound bag lasted my seven cats exactly one month, which is incredible because for one cat, it will last you at least six months. And that is $30 for six months. Like that's great. Now, I have to say, during my one month of use, I didn't like deep clean the litter box or anything. And if you're using this for six months, I know some of you are going to be like, that is gross, Jen. I don't think you have to deep clean your litter box as often. When I was cleaning the litter box, it was completely dry. There were some like poop smears because Sven's forbidden chocolate soup. But if your cat has normal solids, I don't think you have to worry about deep cleaning it as often as you do. Maybe like every two months or every three months. Here are my final thoughts. I think this litter works really well and I would recommend it to anyone that is looking for a alternative to clay litter and alternative to any other clumping litter because this litter clumps really really well and i'm impressed and also you don't have to deep clean your litter box as much just spot clean it with a clorox wipe if you you know your cat has forbidden chocolate soup like sweat but if they don't you really don't ever really have to deep clean it i know that sounds gross now the only like small downside is that this isn't a sustainable eco-friendly litter but you know what clay is not either and it works better than clay so i think this is a good alternative a plus man a plus arm and hammer i feel like arm and hammer makes one of like the better litters out there on the market i mean i love their feline pine and i love this one all right guys i hope you guys found this review helpful thanks for watching and we'll catch you in our next video bye